All right, so I'll get started. Um, thank you all of you for coming. My name is Suzanne Setting, and I'm the founder of Absolute Confidence and High Key Women, and I also teach women and men now how to walk with confidence in their high heels. Men, I know, a whole other market I didn't even think about. And high heels. Um, so first off, I want to say thank you so much to Shelly and to Lee for having us all here tonight and their beautiful, beautiful um, I'm going to start off by telling you just a little tiny brief history about myself and my high heel experience. I uh, started modeling when I was about 15 years old. And uh, most of the work that I got booked for was for runway work because of my um, strong walk. So I did a lot of runway work. I, I only worked as a model part-time for many years. And uh, also, when I was 18, I got a job at a sterling shoe store for one reason only. Anybody guess the one? Yes. What is this camera? A lot of experience wearing really, really, really high heels and a variety of high heels on runways and also buying a lot of shoes. I don't even think I got a paycheck the whole time I worked there. I pretty much just paid off my task. <laughs> so I have a lot of experience buying shoes, wearing shoes, and also fitting hundreds and hundreds of women uh, in high heels. Um, and yeah, I, I basically, I really, really love high heels. I started doing this, this second business of mine. And um, as you know, some of you may already know, you can wear a pair of high heels and feel amazing, right? You wear a pair of high heels and feel beautiful and sexy and elegant and powerful and confident, but you can wear high heels incorrectly or see women wearing high heels incorrectly. How many of you have seen that? <laughs> <laughs> and it is incre <laughs> it's incredibly awkward looking and ridiculous looking, right? So it can absolutely spoil the entire look of being feminine. So two years ago, I set out, I had a vision after managing to blow out my left knee and while I was on holidays in Mexico, not a great holiday. Um, I had a vision after being told that I can't wear high heels for an entire year, which was very really difficult for me because I am about 70 pairs of high heels. So that was devastating. I had a vision that I, when I um, was recovered from my surgery, I wanted to teach a class for women how to walk with confidence, grace, and elegance in their high heels. And originally the idea was to just do this one class. And uh, I got word of it, and they came into the story of it on it and featured me on the main page of their magazine. and. All of a sudden, this idea that I had to do this one class just spun out of control, and I got so much, like, overwhelming response, so much media attention, so much press, so many phone calls from across Canada, people wanting to learn how to walk in high heels. So it kind of enabled me to start my second business teaching women how to walk in high heels. So I teach a class once a month. I do these mobile sort of events, mobile services, and I also have the first class called High Heel Appeal, uh, teaching everybody how to walk with confidence and raise their high heels and also how to buy high heels correctly. So it's pretty cool to be doing something that I love to do and getting paid to do it. And as you know, we are not taught as young women how to walk in high heels, right? How many of us had our moms pull us aside and say, this is how you walk correctly? <laughs> <laughs> Nobody. Yeah, sister's laughing at us. Yeah, <laughs> right? Yeah. I was the eldest, so I usually did the laughing. Yeah. But anyways, <laughs> we, we unfortunately, we're not taught. We're just kind of expected to know how to walk in high heels. And most of us just don't know or we do know. And that's great, but that's not usually the case. So what I'd like to do today is um, share with you just like a handful of, of uh, tips and kind of tricks to walking with confidence and grace. And um, the very first thing, and I talked to a couple of, a couple of you this evening about, uh, is the importance of planning out and limiting your high heel wear. That is the number one tip. Now, most times when people see me, they see me in my high heel, five inch stilettos, However, I don't walk around eight hours a day wearing these shoes. And that's the biggest sort of um, challenge they say when they come to my classes or I do private instruction is they say, I hate wearing high heels. So the way that you sort of combat that is by planning out, okay, you know, how long do I need to wear these high heels for different set of period of time? And obviously not. So for example, if I have an event like today, I bring my flat shoes. I wear my flat shoes the entire day, and I bring my high heels with me, and I change into them right before I put my bed. Um, yes. Thank you. 
Um, and the other great thing you can do too is if you have a big purse, which most women nowadays do, put your black shoes in your purse. And if you're going to a wedding or you're going to an event, you know, later on at the end of the event, change into your black shoes. Nobody's looking at your shoes at the end of the night. You can be com- right? You can be comfortable, <laughs> you can dance all night long. So it's really, really important that you take care of your feet and that you don't hate your head, which I, I hear a lot. So that's the number one tip. Plan out and when you know, to And sort of the second tip is a little formula I put together, which is called the three S's, which stands for small, smooth, and slow. So every single stride that you take when you're wearing high heels should be a small stride, a smooth stride, and a slow stride. Unless you're a supermodel walking on a runway, you can take really long, elegant strides. But when you're starting out with high heels, it is extremely uncomfortable and challenging and really um, provides you with less stability and you're less balanced doing so. So I really encourage people when they're starting out to take really small strides, really smooth strides, which means we're not um, taking what I call marching band strides like this. <laughs> That's not smooth. So smooth is engaging your thighs, uh, not having gripping thighs, and being smooth in your thighs. So the smaller the stride, the easier it is to walk in high heels. So small, smooth, and slow. All right. So what I'm thinking, oh, the man is leaving? What? Kind of get changed. Okay. <laughs> okay, good. So what I was thinking we could do is we could kind of um, use our uh, makeshift runway here and we can separate into little heaps, little groups of like four and five and we can walk together and learn a couple of the techniques. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So let's start here and I'll get you to kind of line up in, I guess, rows of three or four. Come on. All right. Where am I now? Thank you very much.